Reed, what up? Hey, what's up with you, man? It's Jamel from Gully TV. How you doing, bro? What's going on with you, bro? It's been a long, long, long journey. It's been five years we've been trying to get you on the mic. What's up? Oh, man. Yup. Um, recently, you can't. Uh, you was propelled back into, you know, the spotlight, so to speak, uh, based on an incident between two Philadelphia artists. I'm not gonna go straight to that right away. Um, where, where I'm at right now, before we get into the, uh, you know, the, the Rita Delphia projects, there was um some comments made by uh by Smack. Um. In regards to, to, to Reed not being able to draw in the URL, right? All right, at the same time, I'm from Pennsylvania. This is, uh, Gully TV is a Pennsylvania-based company. So you know we know about... Yes, sir. You know we know about Too Raw from the streets. We know Big Star, too. So, I think um, there was a contradiction. There was a contradiction... Uh, I, I, I found a contradiction based on what, what Smack said about you not being a draw because we all seen the footage. I'm from Pennsylvania. We seen the footage on Smack. Right. From Too Raw for the Streets. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, you know, like I said on my interview, uh, I was never on Smack. I never, you know, rapped in front of a Smack camera. You know what I'm saying? I never met the dude face to face. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like, you know, and, and, and okay, before, before he made that comment on, you know, like, I'm not worth it, you know, I was actually, uh, I, I, I felt great being on Smack, even though I, I never rapped for his game, man, it felt good for him just to even put his logo on it, to have that New York love, right. and things like that, so, so for him to say, you know, oh, he's not worth it, and things like that, you know, it made me just look like, oh, why did you go to extra bow? To get the footage, right? It's crazy, man. So, you know, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? I just, you know, like I said, man, it's a crazy thing. You know, we've been doing this shit before any of these leagues. So, you know, for them to say things like that, you know what I'm saying? It's just, well, you know, right. what we do, you know? Right. Um, in regard, in regard to two rock from the streets, uh, did you, did you ever speak with Big, with Big Star about how that footage ended up on Smack? No, actually, man, to be honest, man, you know, uh, a shout out to Big Star, man. I don't know, you know, uh, I hope he, you know, I hope he's still here. I hope nothing happens to him. I haven't spoken to Big Star, man, since two off the streets, bro, and it's like it's a crazy thing. Like he kind of fell off. The speak up a little bit, Reed. Uh, no, no, no internet, I mean, no, no websites, Twitter, Facebook, like, I really just lost touch with stars, so, you know, I'm not sure, man, I really don't know what happened to Star, man, really don't. Right, um, the, uh, the Rita Delphia series, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna step away from the beat, we're not, we got, we're not gonna jump to Cassidy and Meek yet, we're gonna talk about Reed a little bit, what's up with this, what's, what's up with this, when the next, uh, installment dropping? How the streets receiving the 
How the, how the streets receiving the music? The streets is loving it, man, because they see the growth, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing everything that they said a Philly nigga couldn't do, you know what I'm saying? Doing everything that they said a battle rap nigga couldn't do, and that's making beautiful music, and I love it. I mean, I've always been an artist, but at the end of the day, you know, like, I think I said this on quite a few interviews, when you're you coming in the game, you you know, people don't just want to hear you, like, who the fuck is dude? Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's, you know, I took my name, I made my name, but at the end of the day, I was always an artist, you know what I'm saying? I just was versatile, I could, I could you know, we can battle, face to face, you know what I'm saying, one off, whatever you want to do, or we can take it to the studio and, and make great records. But mm. there's something that they try to hide, stereotypes, they, you know, so we can't get, you know, they just battle rappers and things like that. But just to go to show you, you know, no matter what we go to, shout out to me, he was one nigga that did take it and let him know, like, look, it's still some artists here, you feel me? Right. That's so, real. What's, um, what's your place? You know what I'm saying? In the situation uh, with Meek and Cass, uh, I believe both both of them appeared on Two Broad from the Street somewhere along the line, right? Nah, what Cassidy did, Meek never was on Two Broad from the Street. Okay. What do you stand? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you stand? Okay. Um, it's all out there. It's, it's past Philadelphia. It's, it's past Cosmic Kev. It's really, really out there with. Uh, with the Philadelphia artists right now, you got Meek and Cass, and now you got Neef Buck. He didn't, uh, you know, he he didn't he didn't put his two cents in, you know, uh, based on how he felt about things. How you what 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 you think this is doing to Philadelphia hip hop overall? I mean, overall, it's just bringing attention like he did before. Because I mean, this is the thing. I think Philly is we're going to destroy ourselves because we don't see the bigger picture. The people only look to Philadelphia controversy. Simple. We've been doing this shit since me and Joey Dan and me and me going back and forth. And the people told that, I mean, I'm 40 million views on YouTube total up with my videos. So that's just to go to show you the world was watching and people love controversy. The people look at Philly for controversy. They don't look at us like when these fuck drop a song, they go crazy. Nah, not really. Not unless it's some. And, 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 and it's not, because uh, this is my brother from my city, but it's just facts. When, when niggas drop records, do niggas go crazy? No. As soon as we go say, fuck me. Oh, man. Man, look. Oh, yeah, I know me. I know me. Like, this is a crazy thing. So people only look at Philly for, like, you know, that, that bullshit. And, and, and it makes me sick to my stomach, man. So at the end of the day, I think it's fucking us up. You know what I'm saying? That you mentioned, uh, Joey, um, Cheek, y'all all y'all all good now? Yeah, man, great man. Seeing Cheek about it, I was here about a year. We was in um, was it Wildwood? I think it was Wildwood. We were doing a show. Yeah, we we stayed together. We shook hands. We salute each other. You know what I'm saying? Me and Joey just talked on the phone not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, spoke to Cass. We about to get some work done. Just us. Right. Some lack of shit. You know what I'm saying? So you know, you know, man. It's, why is it? Philly's a crazy place. <laughs> right. Why is why is it whenever uh, the battle, somebody rocks the boat on the battle in the battle circuit, read names get, get throws into it. Say that one more time. Why is it that whenever somebody rocked the boat, a battle MC, somewhere along the lines, Reed Dollar's name is mentioned. Right. It really makes me feel great to watch the 2013, 2012 battle and be like, wow, niggas are still 
know what I'm saying? Read down, it's like, right. the crazy thing is the beautiful thing. So I know that I left my mark here, and it feels good. Right. Man, we can always take with, you know, I want to see, you know, Jordan play Kobe. We can always think about it, but, you know. Right. <laughs> Won't happen. You know. Right. <laughs> Do, um, would you ever consider getting back in the ring? Yeah, so, I mean, well, you know, from this past couple of months, uh, we picked out a target, you know, uh, it was confirmed. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, I'm not going to waste my career. I'm going to get back to these mixtapes. But uh, I don't know what's up with you. You know, I, it's a crazy thing because, you know, niggas bring me out of hiding. I, I, I simply tell them what they're going to do. It's just like, okay, what's next? Let's get the money right. Let's do it. And then he comes back with the game shit over. You know, work for this down and third. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Right. So you actually had a name? Say again. So you actually had an opponent recently? Yeah. Wow. Um no, I'm not sure how that actually is going to check my twenty twelve freestyle right there. Right. Uh, twenty twelve AP freestyle and I was actually getting to serve some bars for the warm up. <laughs> Speak up just a little bit, Reed. Speak up just speak up just a little bit, bro. Go ahead. Right. Um, I ain't I ain't never had a chance the pleasure of meeting you in person. I've been to Philly uh, several times. Sparks called you. Mill Millions called you. Right. What can we expect in 2013 from you, aside from the battle in the Rita Delphi series? Right. Okay, so there it is. Y'all heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Go ahead, uh, Reed. Drop out, Reed. All right, my nigga. Salute, man. Go to see you, nigga. Yup. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I get gully. Bust. Remix. I get gully. Bust.